When you're out on a home tour and you're touring a house, it is so easy to get wrapped up in all the pretty and the upgrades. But there are some things you should look for and questions to ask when touring a house. I'm going to share with you some of the most important house showing tips. Hi everyone, my name is Karen Jackson and I'm a real estate agent with John L. Scott Real Estate in Renton, Washington. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for watching. As always, be sure to like and comment and let me know if I could be of any help. I am so excited you're thinking about buying a new home. It is such an exciting time. I want to give you some tips on what to look for when you're buying a house. Sometimes you're only at the house for 15 to 30 minutes. That is not a lot of time when you are purchasing one of your biggest investments. When I am showing the buyer a home, I am always on the lookout for these items and pointing out things that they should be aware of to ensure they know as much as possible about their investment. Do you have kids? Check out the schools and their ratings. The neighborhood. You always want to buy with resale in mind. You never know what life brings, and if you have an unplanned sale, you want to be able to sell for top dollar. What do the other houses look like? Are they run down or are they kept up? Does the house you like fit in the neighborhood? It is always better to not buy the nicest house in a neighborhood. Some other things that are not so good for resale are busy streets, power lines, having the nicest house in the neighborhood, living next door to the worst house in the neighborhood. Now any house can sell, you just won't get the top dollar. Water intrusion. If you haven't noticed, it rains in Washington. Be sure to stick around to the end. There is a great tip I'm going to share that most people are not aware of. You don't want the landscaping sloping down to the house. It could be a great concern for water damage. Also, some cities have a very high water table. You want to be sure to have the crawl space inspected for water or for springs. The roof. Roof replacement is very expensive. How much is left on the life of the roof? For lending purposes, the roofs need to have two to five years of life. Two to five years goes very quickly once you purchase a home. Will you have the money to replace a roof in two to five years if needed? The windows. Windows are also very expensive to replace. If the windows are double pane and aluminum, they can still be effective. Many of these types of windows have condensation in the tracks or seals fail and condensation appears between the panes. Final windows are the most desired. Upgrades. Does the house have a lot of upgrades? Were they done by the homeowner or by a contractor? There are many do-it-yourselfers out there. Many times this do-it-yourselfer should not be doing it themselves. Work that is not done in a high quality manner can end up costing you a lot more money. Be aware of houses that were flipped. Sometimes the seller is just doing the very minimum to sell a house or they are covering up flaws. Be sure to have an inspection done. Pretty doesn't always mean it is done right. Is the house on an on-site septic sewage system or is it connected to city sewer? You will want to know the pros and cons of septic versus sewer. And the one tip that many people may not be aware of is big trees. In Washington, we have a lot of big trees. The trees are beautiful, but many of our trees and plants have a very large root system. Is there a rhododendron or a bush or a tree that is close to the septic line? If so, it is a good idea to have a sewer scope done. A sewer scope is a camera system to check for root intrusion or line break. Rhododendrons have a very wide root system and can intrude easily. The sewer scope can be done for septic or sewer. I hope these tips were useful. Please comment below if you have any questions or send me a private message. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching.